Okay, so here's a video here. So he's at five degrees here and notice the, so this is the normal line here. This is the incident angle and this here is the refracted angle. So you can see here as this light beam goes through this material here, there is kind of a, uh, is being bent toward the normal. See, this line should go straight across, but it's being bent toward the normal. All right, so as we increase here, you can see this is now, uh, what, 30, 25 degrees. Uh, let's, 25 degrees, there's 30 degrees here. Okay. All right, and let it go some more. There's 35 degrees right there. Okay, and uh, there's 40 degrees right there. And we'll go ahead and pause it at 45 degrees here. Okay, and go ahead and hit uh, pause. Okay, so this is at 45 degrees right here. And this up here, now look at, look very closely here. This is 20, this is about 25, this is 30. So I'm gonna guess this is 25. Boy, this is gonna be kind of tough here. I'm gonna say about 27 degrees, okay? We'll see what happens there. So we're gonna say this is 27 degrees. All right, so let's do some uh, annotation here real quick. All right, uh, we're gonna draw here. So we know that this here is going to be 45 degrees, okay? That's gonna be our incident angle and this is uh, N incident here is going to be one because it's air right here, right? This material, we don't know what it is. We'll call it refracted, okay? We're not sure what this is here. So we're gonna put a question mark here. And this angle here, this refracted angle, uh, we're gonna go ahead and say, oh boy, I'm gonna, man, this is kind of tough. I'm gonna say about 27 degrees. We'll say 27 uh, degrees here. Let's go ahead and hit pause like that. And we'll go ahead and pause and see what we got going on. Okay, so from the video, uh, let's go ahead and let me do some annotation here real quick. And just annotate. And let me go ahead and do, okay, so uh, from the equation then, uh, so N1, or the incident refractive index is one, which is air, right? And this will be sine here. Now make sure we're in degrees, not radians. So this is sine here. And the incoming angle is 45 degrees. Now I recommend using 45 degrees because it's 0 0.707. The sine of 45 degrees is 0 0.707. But anyways, let's go ahead and go here. This will be N uh, refracted index right here. We go, that's the unknown. And this will be the outcoming angle is gonna be the sine. Now I estimated 27 degrees, right? Okay, so we go here. So when we do this here, uh, this will become 0 uh, 0.707 uh, here, 0 0.707 like so right here. And we're going to divide it by uh, the sine of 27 degrees, right here, right? So this will be 27 uh, degrees here. And this gives us roughly uh, index refraction of 1.55, okay? So 1.55. So if I look at my chart up here of 1.55, I see that crown glass uh, falls right in here. So 1.55 is right here. So it looks like it's crown glass. So you wanna go ahead and do that calculation there if you haven't already. Let me go ahead and pause the record. Okay, so we'll continue on now. And here we have, uh, so we just finished the uh, trial one. Trial two, we're gonna have to use the Snell's Law virtual lab here. So when you click on it, this option here will come up and we'll want to click on intro right here. So we'll do intro here. And you see here that we have a laser that comes in. This is medium one. This down here is medium two. 
And uh, first thing here it says in this trial is air, air. So this material is going to be air. This material here will also be air. And we're going to go ahead and take this uh, protractor here and kind of put it right in the middle there. So it's kind of there we go, kind of lined up there best you can. Okay, anyways, this will act as normal. So here's our laser here. We can move it around. You can move it like this and like that. So since it's going air to air, we see that we go straight up, uh, it goes straight through. And if we put it at 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees right here. And you see it's 30 degrees here. If we go to, there's 40, this is 45 degrees. I like 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees here. This is also 45 degrees as well. So that's trial two. Now trial three says air to water. So let's go ahead and change this to water here. And we see that uh, this is air, this is water. And we see it's 45 degrees, but it's kind of, this is 45 degrees here. It's kind of bent toward the normal, okay? So we do have some refraction occurring. So uh, this, Light is slowing down as it passes through from air to water. And when it bends toward the medium, that means the speed of light is actually traveling slower than it does in a vacuum. Simulation four is air to glass. Let's go here and go glass. So here's glass. Uh, glass has a refractive index of 1.5. And we see here that it's bent even more. So that means that light is, is uh, uh, traveling slower as it moves through glass, probably because there's a lot of molecules uh, in the way that causing it to be absorbed, re-emitted, bouncing around. So it does cause it to slow down. Now on trials five and six, what you want to do now is here's mystery A. So we'll go ahead and click on uh, mystery A here. So what is N? So you have to figure out what this refractive, you have to figure out what this angle is here. Use Snell's law. And then uh, once you get it from the chart up here, you should be able to figure out what it is from this chart here, okay? And we'll also want to do the same thing for mystery B. So here's this, we'll go to mystery B. Okay, and same thing, figure out what is mystery B. And again, using the chart up here, you should be able to tell me what mystery B is. So go ahead and figure out what A and B are and put in a screenshot your, uh, you know, screenshot your result and put it in here along with your answer. All right, I will see you in part three.